Hi, I'm Craig Jellick, a software engineer at Rancher Labs. Today I'm going to demo how Rancher can be used to manage a shared storage service to allow application developers to create and use persistent volumes across hosts. This feature utilizes Docker's new Volumes API and plugin architecture and Rancher Labs Convoy plugin. Convoy is an open source Docker volume plugin for a variety of storage backends. In addition to the Docker Volume API, it also supports vendor-specific extensions such as snapshots and backups. In this demo, we'll use GlusterFS as the storage backend for Convoy. GlusterFS is a scalable network file system that allows users to create large distributed storage solutions using common off-the-shelf hardware. So let's jump right in and launch the GlusterFS stack. Fortunately, Rancher has a catalog entry for this, so deploying it's quite simple. All we need to do is answer a few simple questions. First, we'll name the stack cluster FS. Then we'll leave the volume name as my volume. Now, this catalog item will launch containers running the cluster server on three hosts and create a replicated cluster volume with three bricks, one per host. Since this takes a few minutes to come up, we'll skip ahead and use a cluster stack that I've already deployed. As with all Rancher managed services, scaling the stack is easy. Just open the service and increase the scale by one. Doing this will deploy a new Gluster server container to our fourth host and add the node to Gluster's pool. If we wanted to, we could then add another brick to our existing volume so that it would be replicated to the fourth node as well. Next, we'll deploy the Convoy Gluster stack. Again, we just have to answer a few questions. Some of the required information comes from the Gluster stack that we just deployed. First, we'll name the stack Convoy Gluster. Then we'll specify the same volume that we specified in the Gluster stack. We'll give it a reference to the Gluster stack. And finally, a reference to the Gluster service, which is Gluster-FS-Server. And that's it, we can launch this. This launches an agent on each host that registers the Rancher Convoy plugin with Docker, configures Convoy to use our Gluster volume, and then feeds Docker volume metadata back to Rancher as containers and volumes are created and destroyed. This final step creates a shared storage concept within Rancher that allows us to properly manage and schedule containers that need to use shared volumes. Convoy is a valuable abstraction layer that gives users access to robust storage technologies without having to know their details. Once Convoy is configured and plugged into Docker, which Rancher automates via our catalog entries, users can create Docker volumes backed by powerful technologies such as Gluster without having to know anything beyond basic Docker container and volume commands. In other words, the storage technology is completely transparent to the end user. Application developers don't even need to know the storage technology that is being used. Now that we have Gluster and Convoy up and running, let's launch an application that uses a shared volume. For this demo, we'll launch the blogging platform Ghost. To do this, we'll use Rancher Compose, as a real user would. To use Rancher Compose, we just need to write a simple Docker Compose file. And here it is. It's a fairly simple template, but there's a few important things to mention. First, we set the volume driver to Convoy. This tells Docker that it should use the Convoy driver to create any necessary volumes. Next, we specified a named volume that mounts inside the container to varlib ghost, which is where the ghost application reads and writes data. The important thing about this line is that we specified a volume name in the first half as opposed to a deck directory on the host. This tells Docker to create a named volume using the specified driver as opposed to just a host bind mounted volume. With all that said, let's deploy this app. And we'll jump back to the UI to see the app deploy. As we can see, it's already deployed. 
if we inspect the stack, we can see that a single container was deployed and it landed on this host. Let's go there to view our blog. And we'll go to the admin page to set it up. Here we have our blog, and we'll just write a quick post. Let's view this post. Here's our containers rule post that we just published. Now let's go back to Rancher and scale Ghost up. This is really simple. We just increase the scale to 2. We'll jump back to the stack view here and watch as it deploys. OK, so now if we look at the service, we can see that we have two containers. And this one was deployed to a different host. Let's jump to it. And as you can see, the container deployed to the second host is serving up the same content as the container deployed to the first host. This is because they're using a shared volume that is managed by Convoy and backed by Gluster. Hopefully this simple example demonstrates the power that distributed storage can bring to Docker and how Rancher can make that possible. Thank you for your time.